don't need an expensive camera or a NASA computer to make premium cinematic videos. Sure, it might help, but it actually all depends on your video editing skills. I'm gonna show you five tricks every video editor needs to make their videos look expensive. Trick one, color grading. I'm gonna show you a color grading trick to make your phone footage look from this to this. First of all, phone cameras are often producing an oversaturated image. That's because our brain loves to see vibrant colors. But if you want it to look cinematic, we're gonna have to do something about that. So here I have my clip in the timeline. What you can do is go to the Lumetri color panel and simply decrease the saturation. But that will decrease the saturation in every color. Now what you're gonna do instead is look at your video and see which colors are oversaturated. For example, the greens, they don't really look good. To fix that, head over to the curve step in the Lumetri panel. If you scroll down, you will see the hue versus saturation curve. With this one, we can target a specific color in your video and decrease the saturation. So click the color picker and go to the program monitor. In here, click the greens in your video. As you can see on the graph, this will make a color selection. Of course, you can adjust this. Now, if you click and drag the point in the middle of that selection, you can increase or decrease the saturation. Now it will only target the greens. This is cool, but I do have a personal twist I'd like to show you. So in the hue versus saturation graph, double click to delete everything. Now scroll down until you see the hue versus hue curve. This looks the same, but it does something entirely different. Instead of adjusting the saturation with this one, you can change the hue of your selected color. So I created the same color selection in here, but this time, when you click and drag the middle point, you will actually change the greens to another color. I always like to push more orange into it. That makes the grass and the trees look a little more dry. It gets rid of that flashy feeling. Then lastly, I like to add some more contrast to separate the whites and the blacks even more. This already looks good, but the next trick is gonna make it look even better. Number two, adding film grain and black bars. I always like to use an adjustment layer for this. That way I can save it and use it again in other projects. So to do this, we're gonna need three effects. In the effects library, find the transform effect and drag it on the adjustment layer. Then go back and find the crop effect. Drag that one on the adjustment layer as well. For the third effect, find the noise effect and do the same thing. Now with the adjustment layer selected, head over to the effect controls. Then go to the crop effect. Set the top property to 13% and do the same thing for the bottom property. Next, expand the transform effect and play around with the vertical position property. That way your frame will always fit, regardless the black bars. Finally, go to the noise effect and increase the amount. Don't overdo this because that makes it look like a static television. I usually have it around 15%. That looks awesome. Well, the next trick can help you become a better content creator. Just like every year, I'm partnering with a few big names to create one creator's bundle. This is possible thanks to 5 Day Deal. I know, it's an old picture of me, it is what it is. Now, let me show you what you can expect from this bundle. For example, this explosion pack. You'll get tons of explosion assets and tutorials on how to use them. This here is the Cinematic Particle Toolkit by Film Assets, which includes 94 high-end particle overlays. I can keep going and going, there's a lot more. And of course, I suggest you check it out for yourself to see if you like it by clicking the link down below. This entire video bundle is worth more than $1,000 if you bought everything separately. And you can get it for just 98 bucks. Now, since 2014, 5 Day Deal has already donated more than $3.5 million to charity. And that's all because of you guys. Now, this 5 Day Deal will only last 5 days, so maybe it's something you like. To check it out, go to videobundle.net or just Click the link down below. Now it's time for trick number four, adding lens flares to your videos. I highly suggest you use Storyblocks to search for lens flares because of the plugin. But of course, you can also shoot one yourself. All you need is two phones, and a dark room. Lay one phone on the ground with the flashlight facing up and then use your second phone to film the lens flare. Then drag your clip in Premiere and trim away the parts of the flare you don't need. Now as you can see, the lens flare still has a dark background. To get rid of it, make sure it's selected and head over to the effect controls. Then in here, find opacity and set the blending mode to screen or add. That will make the background of your lens flare transparent. Now here's a cool trick I want to show you. Find the tint effect in the effects library 
and drag it on your lens flare clip. Then in here, set the map white to color to a matching color in your video, for example orange or brown. That will change the color of your lens flare. If you think this is too much, try decreasing the amount to tint property. That will definitely help. Another quick bonus trick, try using Lemetri to fine tune your lens flare even more. By increasing the exposure, you can make it brighter and definitely play around with the contrast as well. Now, there's one more thing you gotta do. Make sure your clip is selected and hit Shift plus D on your keyboard. This will add a fade in and fade out. And now you know how to create your own custom lens flares. Trick number five. As an editor, learning After Effects is a must. So in this video right here, on my left, I'm gonna show you how to create a super cool effect and easy to follow along with. Thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye.